so we picked these bikes up from Bike Point Tenerife in their uh, Las Americas um, shop. They do have another shop just uh, 30 kilometers down the road. Um, this is one of the, the male versions of their um, Pro Carbon Ultegra um, bikes. They, it's a BMC Grand Fondo GF02. Uh, they have got a few other models. Uh, it's a bit potluck what you get, but um, some of the others are a fake a Focus KO Evo and another BMC, I think a BMC SLR. Um, Sean um, got this Ridley Liz SL Carbon um, full Ultegra on this one is as well. Um, this one is near mint condition. I don't think it's really been ridden very much at all. Um, mine is in very very good condition, but um, you can tell it's it's been it's been hired out a few a few times. Um, these were twenty six euros a day each. Um, when booking for, for three days, which is very, very good for bikes which retail at about 2000, over £2,000, I think £2,400. Um, on mine, I added on the, the, look, the look pedals, they were €5 Euros for the, the whole hire period, um, just to save me mucking around with um, bringing, my, uh, bringing my pedals with me. You can also hire carbon wheels if you want, or power meters, or locks in a helmet. Um, we just bought our own helmets and um, haven't bothered with a lock because what well, wasn't going to leave the bikes unattended. Um, they're very well maintained. Um, shifting's very smooth. Gears are indexed well. Brakes are good. Um, they're very clean. Chains were and drive chain were all really clean when we picked them up. <coughs> um, one thing I would say is that the the brakes are. If you're from the UK, they're, they're um, wired the wrong way around. So the right right shifter does the, the rear brake, which um, doesn't exactly fill you with confidence when you're descending down a volcano for, for an hour. Um, but if you're from anywhere else in Europe or the US, it's probably, probably not going to be an issue. <clears throat> um, all the bikes come with compact cranks and um, 1132 cassettes, so that should be enough for most people to get out the wall. The volcano here in Tenerife. Um, they are like a proper bike shop, it's not just a hire company, so they sell a lot of bikes and the people that work there they, they actually know what they know what they're on about. So you're getting a, a high quality bike which is looked after, not just some crappy hire bike which uh, someone ch changed in the tube in uh, now and again. Um, it's really easy to book. Um, you just fill in the form online, choose which level of bike you want and you get um, <coughs> to choose any any extra options you want pedals, power meters, wheels, etc. Um, there's no no money up front, um, but um, when you go to collect um, to collect the bike, then uh, you just need to pay a 50, 50 euro deposit in cash, and then pay the rest of the the higher higher charge. Um, you can also put in your uh, measurements and your reach. Uh, Etc. Online, and then they'll set up the bike exactly, exactly as um, as you need it. If you know those measurement measurements, um, the guys at the shop are really, really good. Um, they um, we went in sort of last minute and asked them if they could deliver the deliver the bikes on the morning that we had them booked in uh, booked to be collected for, um, but they were were too busy to do that. Um, so they instead just um, so they delivered them the the night before. Um, they only charge 20 euros to deliver, so it's, it's well, wor well worth it. Um, particularly if you don't want to get, get to the bike shop with um, all your gear on it in a taxi or on a bus. Um, 20 euros is, is not bad at all. Um, they're all really, just really accommodating and they give a fair amount of advice, which um, was quite good as well. I'd, I'd never really cycled out uh, out here um, and certainly never cycled up a, up a mountain either. Uh, they all speak English really well. And uh, one of the guys in there speaks German, is German too, so that makes life a little bit easier if you're if you're collecting. Um, highly recommend them. Good value. Um, if you've got any questions, just leave them in the comment sections below, and I'll get back to you.